Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and cast time once again. So, um, right off the bat here, let me go ahead and intro the music. So, so happy Halloween, everybody. Uh, it's 10.57 p.m. right now, so technically this is going to be tomorrow's cast, but since I'm since I'm doing this on Halloween, you know, it's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty serious annual holiday. I figured I might as well, might as well make the music festive. So this is going to be The Shapes. Um... And I guess such sights. So, well, I will go ahead and say, um, uh, I did forget to do a copyright check on this. I just had too much other shit I had to get taken care of. So, yeah, so kind of a, kind of a for what it's worth kind of thing. So let me go ahead and get the music fired up. Alrighty, so let's get her started. Um, well, yesterday, miracle, a freaking miracles, FX3 finally worked. Um, did the uh, did the weekly matchup tables? I actually did pretty good on them. Um, I think uh, Droids Pinball. I can't remember how well I did, but Mars, Mars is actually one of the easier tables to do. To do on a weekly matchup, the shots you have to make and stuff, they're not that difficult. Hmm. I'll probably talk more on this later, but uh, I'm uh, I'm sucking on a cop drop right now. So, if, if it sounds like I'm doing a lot of slobbering and drooling and stuff, that's probably why. So, anyway, I gotta, I gotta turn this down from my end. Just like clockwork. My computer jacked the volume up to 100 from, uh, from my end. Okay, but anyway, um, but yeah, and then, uh, Moon Knight, that's another, it's another fairly easy table to play, and it's a fairly, uh, matchup friendly table, you can do a fair amount in three minutes, same with Mars, you can do a fair amount on that too in three minutes, um, Star Wars Han Solo, it, it's the, uh, it's not the original old school 70s version of Han Solo, it's like the modern one, the, not not Phantom Menace, but the the one with Ray and the the other Sith guy. I don't I don't know. I haven't seen any of the newer ones like Rise of Skywalker or whatever it's called. Those kind of movies. But yeah, it's this kind of Han Solo. But yeah, that that it's I have gotten lucky and gotten a huge score on a uh, on that table in three minutes. But uh, it's one of those that's. It's either hit or miss. Either either you ain't gonna do deadly squat or you're gonna rack up a monstrous score. But there's like no middle ground there. <clears throat> so anyway, yesterday. Um oh and I'm Oh when I say yesterday, I mean I actually mean Saturday. So yeah, Saturday fire you know, fired up FX3. It actually worked. So th th this, this is what I'm talking about. Saturday. Um, but I think. Uh, okay, my my internal calendar is not working right now. I think. Uh, I think it was yesterday, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I played FX3. It worked. Did the matchup tables. But I actually did good enough to where, I think I'm gonna be good and stable until the end of the week. So. I should have dropped down another tier, which, for those that don't know, um, I was at the, um, I was at, I was at gold rate, gold rating tier three. Well, because I wasn't able to play the game at all for the whole week, I dropped down, dropped down a tier. I'm now at, uh, I'm now at silver two. Let me rephrase it. Previously, I was on silver one. But now I got knocked down to silver two. So, like I said, I uh, I did good this week. I should be stable enough to where to where I can stay in that position and not get dropped down yet another. So. And then, so now, fast forward to today. Uh, 
this time around, I decided to go ahead and try a pinball stream. Now, I started off with FX3 thinking, hey, maybe I'll get lucky twice. Nope. Uh, it crashed right at... It crashed right at the main menu. I think I was about to pick a table, and then all of a sudden, pfft, everything just froze up and shut off. Um, firing up a pinball arcade, thinking, hey, the last few uh, last few sessions that I've uploaded to YouTube, this was the case. FX3 is shot, but pinball arcade still worked. Maybe I'll get lucky this time. Ah, nope. It crashed right right when I started up a table, so. I was actually, uh, uh, originally, I was planning on just, if these, uh, if these two games crashed, I was just gonna go back to idle games. But, uh, uh, but, you know, I kind of... I kind of thought about it for a moment, like, like like I said a few moments ago. Originally, I was just gonna go right back to playing Idol Champs again. So, didn't really want to play DX9 Pinball Arcade because it's it's super hard on the eyes. Um, you know, it looks just the overall quality is really bad. Um, Zachariah, those that have uh, seen my streams and other other various videos. Um, I don't have much love for that game either. Probably even less than DX9 Pinball Arcade. But, so, so again, originally I wasn't, I didn't want to mess with those. But then I kind of got to thinking that, uh, you know, I had to kind of, I kind of had to kind of choose between, between streaming pinball or, you know, going, you know, going back to streaming Idol Champs where, Chances are it's probably gonna be another dead stream, so So I decided to just go ahead and uh, fire up DX9 Pinball Arcade, but uh I love um, I looked on the uh I looked on the configuration utility. You can uh, change your settings and stuff like that on um you mostly on DX9, I don't I think you can change your settings on DX11, but you hardly have to do anything. All I did was mainly just turn the turn the bright ball option on, and then um just change the resolution. I think that's what I did. And then DX9, there's uh, more options you can do with that. But the problem is, is up until today, there was no way to brighten the ball. Well, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it was a brand new update, or if it's been in there all this time and I just now saw it, but, uh, ball reflection. In fact, uh, Kitaro87, oh, um, one of my longest, uh, longest standing regulars, um, he, uh, he actually said, he actually, he said something to the effect that, uh, there's a whole, there. Like, there's a whole lot of ball reflection, or it looks like there's two balls, one put on top of another, or something like that. I can't remember the exact words, but... But, yeah, um, I turned the ball reflection on, and I can see the ball easier now. So, based on this, I'm... I'm actually might be more inclined to stream pinball more often. Maybe even going back to it full-time, but again, it's iffy at best. Um, but like, like I said, it, finding this option, it kind of sa it kind of saved the whole session. So, so yeah, did that, streamed some DX9 Pinball Arcade, played it for a while. Um, started going after, started playing the, uh, the Halloween themed tables like Haunted House, um, Elvira, Elvira and the Party Monsters, Scared Stiff. I think there is a. I want to. Um, Kitara suggested I play uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula, but considering the way I've been playing throughout the whole session, it wouldn't have been worth it. 
despite the fact that Bram, Bram Stoker's Dracula is a Halloween-themed table. But I just would have totally sucked ass on it, so... It would just, it would have just been a quick three and out. Or I should say, even, even with me setting that table to four players, it would have just been a quick 12 and out, because... I forgot to say this towards uh, a few minutes ago, but the session overall just kind of sucked. Which was also one of the reasons why uh, why I was no longer streaming pinball. It just too much frustration built up. I got to a point where you know I just didn't want to just didn't want to play it anymore. So yeah, got to. But after doing that, kind of did the same thing with Zachariah. I started focusing on the um, on the Halloween themed tables. I think uh, Spooky. There's four different variations of Spooky. Um, there's like Retro, uh, Solid State, which is which is basically the 80s version. Um, then there's a remake that came out in like 2017, and then there's a deluxe version that came out in like 2020 or something like that. But with the exception of the Solid State one, the one that came out in the 80s, the other three variations are all fake. They exist only in Zachariah Pinball, only in Virtual. So, play those. Play those. Um, I think uh, there was also like a homebrew table called Zombie. Played it. Didn't last very long on it. So. There was also a Zombie Apocalypse table. But yeah, that one there, um, I think I'll probably play that one for almost a whole hour. It's, I don't, I, I don't want to say it's an easy table, but due to, mechanically, due to the way the table plays and stuff like that, you're, you're almost guaranteed to be able to play for a long time. It's, um, most of the shots on there are fairly easy to make. So, you'll be able to survive for a while, and it's not based on a, on a standard three and out, like, uh, most other pinball tables are. It's, um, whenever the zombies eat all the brains that are in the middle of the play field, then it's game over. So, if you, if you can, uh, if you keep smacking those zombies, keep blowing them up and stuff, you'll last a long time. But yeah, um, but as far as tomorrow goes, tomorrow and possibly beyond, um, once again, I don't know if I'm going to continue streaming pinball or, oh, and that is something else I forgot to mention too, um, towards the, uh, tail end of my stream, my, uh, my controller broke. Like, uh, around where the, uh, where the R2 button is, um, I pressed on it, and I kind of heard this <laughs> kind of cracking sound, and um, it kind of it kind of cracked at the top part of the seams. It's it's gonna be really hard for me to explain, but I got the controller right in front of me. If you can visualize this, um, again we're talking around the R2 button. Um, there's a little there's a little seam that kind of that kind of that kind of holds the whole entire physical part of the controller together. Um, but yeah, the upper right part of that, it cracked. It's starting to come loose. But, um... I'm not sure how well you can hear this, but here's L2. Here's R2. L2. R2. So yeah, like I said, I got a my um my controller is starting to crack at the seams. So luckily I have a spare, but the problem I have with my spare is um uh, I have to play it wired. I can't play it wireless for some reason. It doesn't um Steam and or my whole computer it doesn't it doesn't recognize it as a wireless controller. 
So, so yeah, I have to play with it plugged in, which means uh, since my computer is a hunk of junk, and it, it's, it's bad enough to where even the USB ports will cut in and out as well. So there's going to be a lot of times when I'll be playing pinball and all of a sudden the, computer, the controller will malfunction. So now i got to deal with that. But, um, kind of rewinding back a few minutes, um, I don't, it, right now, tomorrow, and possibly beyond, it's still going to be debatable on whether or not I'll, I'll go back to streaming pinball, or, um, just go back to playing idle games, I don't know. But, like I said, it'd be, uh, it'd be kind of nice having, uh, having people come in and check out my stream and not... And not to be a ghost town all the time. So. Got lucky there for some reason. You know, and then there's the, um. Something else I forgot to mention, too. Yet again. Um, my hands. Again, on the, on the tail end of my stream. Um. My two pointer fingers. The, the ones that I use for, um. Uh, for uh, hitting the flippers, they were getting a little bit sore and tender at the end of the stream, though, too. So, so yeah, like I said, it it's going to be up in the air whether or not I'll uh, continue streaming pinball or going back to idle games. But anyway, I got to move along, and then I got to check my music here real quick. Going to go ahead and set it to loop because I got a feeling this is going to be a while longer. Ah, screw that up. Okay, and then second thing. Um this started up um right when I started my stream. Um just started getting this persistent cough. In fact, like I said at the start of this cast video, I'm currently sucking on a cough drop right now. So had a break, had a break open the bag that I bought probably about a year ago, and it's also getting to wear um, it's also getting to wear off. My sinuses are starting to mess with me too, along with my cough. So I'm hoping that this is just gonna be a 24-hour thing, you know, because otherwise, what's gonna Worst case scenario is this is gonna go on for about a week. Um, me going through various symptoms. Usually, usually with me starting off with a persistent cough. Um, I think a sore throat. I mean, there's a usually when I get a bad cold. Um, there's actually various phases that I go through. I think it, it starts off with again persistent cough, then a sore throat. Um, then a stuffed up nose, then that transitions over into a runny nose. So, yeah, I think, think that's how it goes, but yeah, like, but, I, like I said, I'm hoping this is just going to be a 24-hour thing and not a week-long thing. Otherwise, I'm royally screwed, because, uh, I'm, I'm basically out of calling, so... I can basically only call in one more time within a six month period, so. But yeah, like I said, it, it started one it started when I was putting together my stream earlier today. So it just yeah. So I got a feeling I might be uh having to drink some NyQuil too just to be able to sleep. to get that off my chest. And then um one other one other thing. Uh throughout the weekend um I I fired up some more American History X. I watched a movie for probably probably about a year ago. 
Um, uh, but yeah, it was working good stuff. Um, it just, it had a good message. Um, you know, talking about racism and stuff like that. Just, basically, uh, the truth is different on the inside. That was the, uh, that was the moral of the story that I got. So... And then, um, another little cool bonus, too, is, uh, the, the kid who played, uh, John Connor on Terminator 2, he's in this. Never knew that. So, bit of a surprise, too. Plus, I think he, uh, smokes like a chimney in this one, too. So, yeah, I'm like, oh. So, and then, um, Beverly D'Angelo was in there. Uh, I think she played on all the National Lampoon Vacation movies. She's in this one. I'm like, oh, okay. Pretty interesting. And you know, cause these these two people, it just I only I only knew them from being in the being in that one movie or in that one franchise and hadn't seen them since. Yeah. I think um I think the John Connor kid, I think uh, later on in life, but I, I think he picked up a drug addiction and all that just you know, I think it's uh, typical of what a child, what child actors have to go through. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink of some water real quick. Um, and it did have the, uh, and it did have the uh, infamous curb stomping scene. Um, I've seen a. Uh, I've seen various videos here and there that uh, that would show little little bits and pieces of this. So I'm like, oh, okay, so that's where that came from, all right? So. But, but yeah, um, just been watching that second time around. But like, like I said, it's got a, I mean, it's got a good, it's got a good anti-racism message. Um, a lot more than I'd be able to explain here, but. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm probably I'm probably at about the halfway mark, about the halfway mark in this movie. So but yeah, most likely after I'm done with this cast, probably um I'll probably just keep on watching that. So and I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab another cop drop here. <coughs> Yeah, the basketball scene on there was pretty funny, too. <laughs> I'm watching that, I'm like, sure. I want to say it was um, a bit of an error in execution there, at least in my mind, kind of like a one-hour photo. Great movie, great concept and acting and all that, but some of the scenes, it's like, like, no. No, it's not really how it works. You know, it, it, I kind of hard. I don't really want to go into detail. Probably the best answer I can give you on that is just you probably have to watch it yourself. You'll you'll kind of get an idea if you uh if you uh parts that make absolutely no sense whatsoever. <laughs> so. I see there was um there was something else about that movie too. Um, really stuck out with me. I'm trying to remember what it was. <sighs> Plus, uh, now that I think about it, too, I might, uh, I might actually check out some more of, uh, Beverly D'Angelo stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe the main character, um, Edward Norton, I think his name is. I might check out some more of his stuff, too. But like I said, um, those those other two, um, um, John Connor kid and um, Beverly D'Angelo. I mean, this movie here was the last place I'd expect them, so it's kind of 
might not be the best phrase to use, but it's almost like seeing a long lost friend, you know? You never expect to see him in your normal travails, but then, oh, look, look, there he is. Like, hey, how you been, man? You know, so that kind of feeling. But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I believe I said all the things that I wanted to say today, so I'll just go ahead and call her good. Uh, but thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And then I kind of, I think I kind of alluded to this yesterday when I when I made my YouTube post. There might be a chance that, uh, and I think I might have said this in one of my other cast videos, that uh, doing these cast videos, um, they might be on the wane. I might, or I might be doing less and less of them, or just phasing them out entirely. I don't, I don't know. It's just, it's getting to a point where, it just, um, the short answer, just fuck it. It just, like I said, it's getting to where I'm just not really in the mood to make these anymore. But again, we'll we'll see it come later. But probably best case scenario, I'll probably do do less of them. And on one of my other cast videos, I think I said the same thing. I might do it the same way I do my um, the same way I do my uh, Final Fantasy fourteen blogs, like maybe do like maybe do them like every other day or something, like maybe Sunday and Tuesday or you know. But anyway, right for right now, it's just talk. So talk and speculation. Um, we'll see. Maybe come tomorrow whether I do another or not, but, yeah. So, but un un until then, though, everybody, um, thanks again for coming by, um, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.